Shalom, and you're now locked in here. It's like Talk TV when you get nothing but the raw and the real whenever I'm in front of the camera. So make sure y'all show the pace and love, like, subscribe, and share. Shalom and greetings, and welcome back to another episode here at Is It Like Talk TV, where you get the full 100 whenever I'm in front of the camera and no paid media points. Now, family, you see the title. That's right. We got to talk about the uh, brawl that took place down in, in Alabama at this uh, riverboat park where, you know, we had these uh, Europeans getting outside of their bodies. You know what I'm saying? And then what they came to realize is that this is not the 50s. This is not the 60s no more. We got real steppers out here. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. You know what I'm saying? See, the first crew that came was not the second crew that came. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to get to that in a minute. I'm going to dissect all of this. But we're living in a new day and a new time. And I think this is a good look for our people here in this nation and for the Israelites that participated in that brawl and supported that brother that was being attacked by them Europeans. Okay? And let me explain to you why. Now, before I get to that, right, let me say this, right? Because I'm tired of hearing these old stale talking points coming from Europeans that always, well, I'm not racist. I have black friends. I'm not da 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 da. It's about love. And man, get on up out of here, man. We're tired of hearing these old stale talking points. Let me explain some to you guys. I've already broken this down to you. Let me break it down to you again. You have two different types of Europeans here in this nation, right? You have those that control this nation, you know, the small percent that sit in all your government offices the supreme courts you know the police the you know the judges the you know the government all of these people that control anything that goes on uh here in the united states uh the big businesses that control you know that has the monopoly on all these different businesses these people that sit at the top they are racist okay your does your 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 design your the uh uh um uh, your designer clothes, the, the, the your designer clothes, the, the the people that make those, the the Gucci's and the uh, see these people that sit at the top, they're racist, okay? They're racist, right? But the people that do not control none of this stuff are the people that they sit at us. These are the bots that. Well, I'm not, I'm not racist. I'm this and that. I grew up in, I'm this and that. But see, you have to understand that these people that come out and say they're not racist, these are not the people that's controlling the pocketbooks. They don't have they don't have the checkbook and can write you any checks. The people that can write the checks, they're definitely racist. OK, and you have to understand that the government has aided and abetted these uh, these supremacists throughout the years. And yet we always want to go to them and be like, well, what about this? These are the same people that our people was warned against. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to get all the way into that today, but we're going to talk about that. When you go back to the days and times of Martin Luther King and stuff like that. Was those whites No that was the police Helping them Sicking dogs and stuff on them No one just civilians And the Ku Klux Those were police officers You know what I'm saying When you go to What is that Greenwood up there In uh, uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma Black Wall Street They said allegedly That the government Helped the uh, white supremacists Down there Overthrow uh, that, that town down there And they still don't want to get on people reparations You know what I'm saying And I think this is something that I want you guys to start spreading around To some of the big platforms Because them people need justice man If they could pay these people over here Now think about this They paid the uh, these slave owners Over there in Europe when they, when they abolished slavery They paid them reparations For losing their slaves So how are you going to How are you going to pay pay the, 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 the slave plantation owners reparations but then you know what i'm saying the people that was enslaved you not giving them nothing you know what i'm saying so i don't want to hear it man you know what i'm saying these people come over with these saying i don't want to hear that you know what i'm saying this is Israelite like talk tv and this is just what it is you know what i'm saying and we speak facts over here you know what i'm saying now let's get to the bra right now so we see that here you got a guy that was telling these Europeans to move their boat out of the out of the way because, you know, this is where the riverboat pulls up at. You're in the space. You cannot be here. OK, this is a business down here. You know what I'm saying? That's being ran down here. And this I believe the guy was security that was telling me, you know, he's working for the company. You know what I'm saying? You can't be parked right there and the thing come. So once again, what is going on here? This is that 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 white entitlement. This is the white entitlement privilege that these that they have enjoyed for far too long. OK. 
And because the guy was mad that he had to move his boat, and I would I would go so far to say that 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 uh it wasn't so it wasn't so much that he had to move the boat. It was the fact that it was somebody black telling him that he need to move that boat. And we know this. I don't care. Listen, family, I don't care what it is. That's a riverboat at your jobs, wherever it is, wherever white people go, where blacks may be in some type of position of authority. Whenever they tell them some, it's like it's the end of the world. It, it burns them up for a black person to tell them, no, you can't do this or yes, you can do this. You know what I'm saying? It eats them up because in their mind, they're like, well, who, who do he think he is? Or who does she think he is? You know what I'm saying? Just peep the game. You know what I'm saying? On your jobs and stuff. If you if you become a, a supervisor or somebody like that on your job and you're black and you're telling white people some, it's going to be like it's the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? Who do he think or who does she think she is telling me, you know, this and that, right? So let me say this, right? Tanakh teaches us that there's uh, a day and time for everything, okay? Um, the reason why these uh, Israelites were in the right was because, number one, they were minding their business. And them people clearly jumped that man, okay? Now, what I want you guys to understand is that when you go and look at all these, these, these newspapers, they're going to show, they're going to give you images. Because, see, these Europeans are master manipulators. They specialize in psychological warfare, okay? So the image that they want to put out to the people is, oh, you got four or five white guys jumping on this black guy. But what they did not show and what you don't see on these headlines is when those when those Israelites came back and was like, come on, are y'all trying to get out now? What y'all trying to do? And tag dude on a boat, boom. And then they got up off of there and they, man, they, they, they flushed them down there. And if you notice, and there was some OGs in there, but them, them young lions, hey, they weren't playing. They were stepping. And this is what I'm talking about. This is why we got to get our kids out of these prison systems, off these plantations, and all it, and, and stick together. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it's time to get our people out of there. We got to quit putting money in their pockets. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we got to make them work. You know what I'm saying? And the days and times is coming when y'all getting ready to break this stuff in half. He already said it. And they know this. You know what I'm saying? This is why they want to reward you for bad behavior because he they know that's going to keep you in opposition to the creator. They know that. You know what I mean? But they didn't show that they're not showing you where the youth came down there and it was some old, it was some OGs in there. They, they didn't man fam. They didn't show when they was getting when when when, when Holmes picked that cheer up, hit dude, boom. Then he tagged he tagged old girl, boom. You know what I'm saying? Like come on man, why why they not showing that? Because they don't never want to show where blacks are getting the ups on whites. Because now they know psychologically, what does that do? That elevate the people where now you're going to have everybody feeling that way. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, they deserve, they deserve, uh, uh, they deserve a standing ovation. I salute them. And if I was down in Alabama where that was going on, that I'd have been right in there with them. And that's where the, yeah, I will go Moses on you. I'm not playing by mine. I love mine <laughs> straight up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, man, fam, we have to defend ourselves. You know what I'm saying? They have used psychological uh, mind tricks, you know what I'm saying, in order to deceive our people. And, to, and, and, and let me say this, fam. OG, the security, and I understand he was at work. But he was just, he was giving them way too much leeway. Like, man, like, man, come on, man. You would have, man, listen, boy. But they, they got it done, though. They got it done, though, man. They got it done. And you can see that the you, we're not having, we're not playing, we're not having that, man. This is why they try to keep us in jail and program with all this other stuff. Because if we, if the people ever wake up and get focused on what's really going on, they know that a lot of that stuff gonna stop. This is not the 30s no more. This is not the 40s. This is not the 1800s. It's a new day. You know what I'm saying? And where and where Europeans have messed up at is they have messed up by running an offense, right? It's a it, it's a it, it, it's a it's an offense where they have used manipulation to have people believe that we're all equal in this and that when they know for sure we're not all equal and not the same you know what i'm saying anytime israelites try to do anything 
uh, 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 outside of the handlers, it's a problem. You know what I'm saying? And they're looking for ways to overthrow it. So unless, so you gotta be bring, you have to bring the master and your handlers money in it, or if not, you can't do nothing by yourself, okay? None of these entertainers that say they get money that's billionaires, this and that, there's always a white puppet master in the background, okay? That they're making money for. They're not getting 100% proceeds the only the only person the only people that's getting 100 proceeds of what they making is the people that's in the streets that's hustling and getting their money and knowing what they doing everybody else they have a handler that's behind them okay so at the end of the day we got to start doing this more you know what i'm saying because when these europeans understand that this is going to happen every single time you try to attack one of ours then they're going to think twice and to be honest with you guys right this was going on back in the ancient, back in the back, you know, hundreds of years ago, and all of this other stuff when all this stuff was going on. But what, but what the Europeans are like, I explained to you, they are master manipulators. Okay, they will try to pace over all of this stuff like it didn't happen and just show y'all images of, oh well, you know, no, nah, y'all better know and understand that blacks back during the days and times of slavery, they was getting busy too. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and I know that for sure. You know what I'm saying? I could tell you about my grandfather, man. They went, man, like, come on, man. They didn't play. They didn't play. They did not play. You know what I'm saying? And this is what they don't tell you because they don't want, they don't want to give us courage or to start believing like, oh, this is what it is because then, I mean, because then, then what they're going to do, okay? It's easy to beat up on the punching bag, but when you got somebody that's punching back and doing this and that, then you got to start coming to terms. And what I want you guys to understand, this is what you guys got to better get ready for, to not teach us that the Most High lets us know that in the last days, he's going to bring these, these nations against his people, Israel. It's going to happen. So all this, this lollipop talk and I'm waiting on Jesus, all these lies, that's all lies. It's all theater. It's all cap. Okay. None of that stuff can be verified. It's fake. To not tell a whole different story. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, fam, they did a good job down there. They deserve a standing ovation. Um, you know, it's no different than the Trayvon Martin and all of this other stuff. People felt like it was okay for them. To, anytime it's the other way around, people don't have a problem with it. But now we got it on camera. We got it on tape. And we know that these people uh, instigated and started this, this situation. The, uh, the other uh, Israelites that was there, that was helping that guy, that, that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? And they gave them the business. And if you notice, that part when they came back down there, all them 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 them, 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 them guys came down there to the boat, and it looked like uh, let me pull this up, man. Yeah, this stuff be having me. This stuff be having me turn. Yeah. So they show the part where they jumped on dude, but they don't show the part uh. They don't show the part where, where they had, listen, it was like, let me see, you got one, one, two, three of the youth, the young guys came over there like, what's up, what's all this stuff y'all talking about now? What you talking about, man? Boom. See, got right on this top, man, come on, man. Come on, man, they, come on, man, they flushed them boys, man, quit playing, man. See, and and it's and, and you know what I'm saying like like look why listen now fam, let me ask you a question. And shout out to the neighbor the neighborhood talk that's got the got the real footage right. Why don't they show this picture right here? Why don't they show this picture right here where they getting down at? Why they not showing that? Why they not showing that on the news where because they don't want to show. See. Why didn't they why didn't they show this man? Why are they why didn't they show this? Let me see if I can get that in there. Why ain't they showing? Why ain't they showing? Why ain't they showing the brawl where you know what I'm saying when they when they when they flushed them down up in there, man? Like come on, man. Threw people all all in the water and all type of stuff. Make it on up out of here, man. Whoop the women and everything, man. When that, that one sister came around the corner, she was throwing a number haymaker. Woo, 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 woo. Then put them feet on them. Then my man with the chair. <laughs> hey, listen. 
OG was like, man, back up, man. And then dude tried to sneak him. Look, trying to sneak him. Look, try, oh, I got you. Oh, no, we ain't finna do that. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Then my, then my, then, then old girl in that white came around that corner. Boom. Ooh, ooh. Man. <laughs> Wee. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, family, let me know what y'all thoughts he is on this, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. See, let me... Let, let me say <laughs> Let me say something family The days and times is coming Where all this black on black Crime this stuff y'all see going on with our people The days and times is coming man Where we well, we gonna start uniting And we gonna start stepping in righteousness Man and I'm not saying that You know what I'm saying to go out here and pick on people Because when you go out here and pick on people You see what happens to those Europeans that's what happens Cause you picking on people You know what I'm saying when you defending yourself it's hardly that you're going to really have it, that you're going to really have any issues, man. I've never, I've never, I can't think of one fight or anything that I've ever lost when somebody else started it. You know what I'm mean? saying? We minding our business. We just doing our job. You, you out here picking on us. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. And let me say this too, because I, because if you listen, uh, if, if you listen to the original video, you can hear how they was, you know what I'm saying? But our people got to be a little bit more serious, man. And when stuff is going down, y'all better go aid and assist our people, man. Like they like 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 they did. But you know what I'm saying? We got to let people know that this ain't he he ha ha la ha, ha like nah, you know what I'm saying? You know, don't 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 play. Don't play. You know what I'm saying? So let me know what y'all thoughts is, fam. Uh concerning this 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 particular situation. Uh, do you think it was right for them to uh, put that work in? Uh, do you think the Europeans were uh, bogus? And, you know, what do you think we should do in the future to uh, uh, stop this type of stuff from happening? Because the ties are getting ready to change, man. And a lot of that stuff that they used to do in the 40s and the 50s and stuff like that, that stuff ain't going to be able to fly no more. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be like we just going to have to get to it. You know what I'm saying? And that's just it's gonna, and that's just going to be what it's going to be. You know what I mean? So, um... I love y'all. Y'all stay safe. I'm signing off here on Israelite Talk TV. Shalom.